What's up, gang? I appreciate you guys for coming back, y'all. All right, y'all. So you see the title, y'all. This is another Amanda and Shannon reaction, y'all. This is Honor of the Year of the Return Part 4 bonus finale. So if you guys haven't seen my other part one, two, three, make sure you guys go tune in. I'll probably put the thumbnails up on the screen as well as the iCards. Make sure you guys go watch those videos and come back and watch this one, okay? So if you guys like the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for me, please. And make sure you guys respectfully watch it as I continue with you guys full time. Make sure you guys grab your stacks, grab your juice, grab your water, whatever. I just got finished eating, so we ain't gonna be needing that except for water because, yes, because this video is lengthy. But without further ado, y'all, let's get on cracking with the reaction video. Y'all, let's go. This episode. Period. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Me and Amanda. I'm ready to turn up again. Part four. <laughs> one hour. The last part. Hello, girls. So you guys ready for the shoot today? Yes, we are. Yeah. Period. Gone. Knocked out. Yeah. Yo, that's me right now because I'm running on no sleep. <laughs> How does it feel? Your life became not a model. You gotta get up for a photo shoot. We have a traditional African photo shoot. I cannot wait. The dresses are phenomenal. We're literally about to get in glam, do our glam right now, and then we are switching hotels. We're gonna be in this oh, yes. top tier hotel. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, like, let me take a nap. Cause... Let me take a nap. Be taking care of our accommodations, and then we take a nap. We have <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Sorry, y'all. We will be staying there, so I'm literally going to vlog everything. It is going to be amazing. Yo, Amanda's <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Amanda literally does not see you guys, and I kept warning her. I'm like, babe, at least get 30 minutes rest. At least get one hour rest. And thank God she had that because she was literally about to crash after the shoot. And then we go out to celebrate tonight. So I am super excited. Yes! Let's show you guys the pictures and everything. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I, I love you guys. And we, you guys. <laughs> we love y'all. Yo, I know that feeling, bro. That's like, yo. Oh my God. <laughs> so we're back. Yes. We have done. And we are about to head to the shoot. I'm super excited. Baby, how do you feel? Better. Better. Yes. We got to do it before and after of how she looked this morning how she looked now. I was a little cranky this morning. Yeah. But, you know, when you're, when you're traveling. 
traveling and living your best life. Yeah, period. You sleep, but then mm -hmm. you gotta work. Exactly. You gotta work. You gotta work. You better work. Exactly. <laughs> work this. Yeah, you better work. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited because I got I got the designer to put Amanda in these beautiful, gorgeous gowns. You guys, you guys are gonna see behind the scenes. And it's like, I'm so excited for Amanda because this is her first experience still having like a real photo shoot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's the thing, like even the designer, first of all, these gowns, um, handmade uh just personally designed by her yeah i've never even wore anything like this when i tried on the mm. gowns i was blown away like i felt like i was going to like a gala or you know somewhere like like the oscars or the Emmys, mm -hmm. something you know like, it was really beautiful she made them uh and they're beautiful like literally i cannot Ooh. wait for you guys to see Ooh, I'm excited I'm so to see. Sorry Amanda, about my like, cat, y'all. Really, really when Amanda was trying on the dresses because she came to do her fitting and stuff like that. And I just looked at Amanda and I was like, Bun, please stop. I feel like this is our wedding day. Like there's this oh. dress that she's gonna wear. It's like gold and like nude. I'm like, wow. Whoa, I'm gonna be flat but it. Her wedding and Ho I can't. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, my cat's bugging. Sorry, y'all. My cat don't lost his complete mind. Anyway, let's continue. Eight to invite each and every one of y'all to our wedding. <laughs> Wait, we gotta invite like everybody? Everybody. Bruh. Even though if you guys can't make it, of course, it's gonna be on YouTube. Period. I can't wait for you guys to see it. They're really beautiful gowns, and I pray that I do them justice. Like, oh, you Excuse know. my computer. Well, so proud of you. I love you. Your growth is everything. It's to you, baby. It's when you love properly, you blossom properly. Period. Yes. I'm going to continue to water you. You just watch you grow. I love you. Okay, I'll see you guys when we get to the shoot. Okay. Me and Logan. So, you guys ready for the shoot today? Period. Yeah. 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 Oh my God, it's the face. Period. What did she use on your face? Yes. What did I use? Um, Hello. Girl. Yes, get it's home with the cheekbones. Period. Nars. Um, I use Anastasia. Yes. What? Wait, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Annabella. Yes. Hold on, y'all. I just want to say for a little bit. Sorry if I'm not like as, like if I'm a little off. <laughs> For one, I'm tired. Number two, I've been up all night. And number three, I've been filming since I think like 10 o'clock this morning. So currently right now it is 5.11. I'm trying to get all of these videos out for y'all before I move. Because a lot of y'all don't know I'm moving. So I'm trying to get these done. <laughs> what I'm like in the process. So when I have some downtime, I'm going to be editing these videos for y'all. But yeah, sorry if I seem a little bit off or quiet or stuff like that. Just to mention, put that out there. But let's continue. He's trying to build it. It's on the Anastasia. Anastasia. Period. You're going to keep that in. <laughs> um, I use LA Girl for concealer. Yes. Um, I use. LA Girl is like so underrated. It's Don't so you think? underrated, but it's so good. It And it's it's cost love. efficient, no? And then MAC lip liner. I love Hourglass. Which one, which one is a MAC lip liner? Which one? Did I put you on? <laughs> no. I think it's it. She said she put me on MAC lip liner. No, no, no. The color. Because she was using cork. Oh. And then now she's... I used to... No, since when? Since when? She went since when? Yeah, yeah. Since when? She yeah. went. Uh, B.A. Uh, before Amanda. <laughs> oh! Not B.A. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> oh, not a violated. Hey. Now I'm at my dear. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then I taught Babe about a hot dog. Install, a good wig install, makeup, outfit. I'm like, no, because I've been slaying my makeup. No, wait, don't do me because I've been slaying my makeup. You're no ma'am. Oh! No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No, ma makeup is see through. Do you see? My makeup is what? See through? What is that? What's see through? See? <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to do it to you. I I'm crying. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> I was like, babe, I see you. I see you. You're scared. No, but it's okay. It's no, like now you got it now. No, your eye your eyeshadow. Your eyeshadow was bomb. Do you feel like moving around No. This is what I've been waiting for for Africa. Like we've been having parties all the time. Period. Done with the party. Done with all of that. I want to see um, Kid Cole's. I want to take pictures, traditional dresses. Like I want to take it back to the roots. Yes. Where's the bandana? I want to take it back to the memories too. Make some memories. So we are finally here at Moving Pit. This is the hotel that we are gonna shoot in. Yes. Okay. Dresses. This is where our photo shoot is gonna be held for today. I'm Come super through, excited. hotel. Literally, all our luggage is in here because they're gonna have us stay here for one night to shoot all this content, and then we're gonna change to another location tomorrow. Oh, okay. Hotel. So I'm really That's cool. Yes, yeah, working. The outside is. Yes, we love it. Hey. Oh, yeah, we up now, baby. Yes! 
chilling over there. Dancing. Welcome to Jessica Fulton Dino. Period. Period. Inside the lobby of the hotel was so beautiful. Period. Welcome. Coming to Africa. Yes. What's going on, Mari? Coming to Africa. Coming to Africa. That was fire, though. I like how they had a little performance for them. That was nice. This is the pool area of this hotel. Wow. Yes. This is stunning. Coming to Africa. Oh my gosh. It's the trees for me, love. Coming to Africa. Period. I hate when this shirt looks like that. Oh my God. Wow, you guys, look at this view. Oh. They up high. Look at that. Oh, my this is my view right now. Period. Watch who now? Nobody else. 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 Let's have an African wedding. Let's do it. Period. Yes. Wow. Yay. I'm just so excited. Yo, She's telling me it looks Hold so on. Good. I just want to say Amanda reminds me so much of like Cardi B. Like she looks like Cardi B a little bit. I don't know. Especially like at this frame right here. Like she look that looks so nice on her. Wait, hold on, let's continue. Don't it looks so know. nice on oh, her. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right, time for the reaction. Period, it looks so nice. <gasps> oh my god. This is amazing. Wow. I, I like, like it. I feel like I'm about to get married. Period. I told you, you look like my wife. I feel like Wait, I think we need an African wedding. With the whole outfit. Like, yes. You know, so nice, right? Shannon, I'm in love. I wish yes. I could just love everything. Uh, no, seriously. I love that. Look at my queen. Look at my queen to me. And that cream looks so good on me. her. Period. Oh wow. Yes. Thank you. How are you feeling? Ooh. I'm feeling good. This is my first time having the headpiece, so I'm so excited. Ooh. So excited. I'm excited to see Shannon. The finishing touches of the dress and this headpiece. Yeah. Oh, how are you feeling? Down? Okay, perfect. I'm feeling good. You're looking good. Thank yes. you. I can't wait to see how it's going to look. It's going to look so good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, kind of yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo, that is so like, what is it? Like talented. I love that. I feel like a cool one. Hold on. Sit here. She is very happy. Oh! Gorgeous. Yes! Yo, I love that color. Let's call it Jale. Jale? Jale? Oh. Such a nice name for it. I feel like a queen. Oh my god, this is such a vibe. Period. 
Thank you so much. Yes. I'm so excited. African queen. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel, I really truly feel like an African queen. Like, Period. I feel like I should. She said, let me wear a robe and I'll take off the handrail. I'm wearing this all night. Yes. Hi. <laughs> so, we are about to wear these head wraps all night. I'm hearing you. I know I would be. I would go to sleep with mine. Oh, for what? We are queen. Exactly. Brown skin. Girl. Yeah. Yes, and like oh brown skin. I was like skin girl. Brown skin. Girl. Oh, it's a reveal. Yeah. Oh my goodness. pictures oh my gosh nah whoever the photographer is they did they thing with them pictures good morning y'all so we just got done eating breakfast yes and breakfast was amazing period it looked good uh, too they got fruits i love you some fruit little watermelon I'm excited orange. today we got a cake called banana Yes, mm. she's been wanting to go. She actually extended her stay so that she can not miss this experience and Period. returning back to the motherland. So we're super excited. Yes. That this was amazing. That was a great start. And now we're about to go back upstairs and freshen up and get Period. ready. It's a four hour drive. Oh, wow. Three, wow. three to four, depending on traffic. Oh, wow. So we're going to be in the car for a little long time, but it's going to be worth it because. If you came to Africa and never did and never experienced where you came from, like that's probably like the worst thing that you could have done. Like you yes. have to come and see where your your family came from. Yes. Like you know where they shipped the slaves to Jamaica, and my family is Jamaican. Her background is Jamaican too, so this is taking us to where you know my mm. great aunt came from. Like. You know what I mean? Or my great grandmother. Right. Yeah. Right. It's very, yeah. very important to know your, cult most. your culture. Yeah. Um, period, period. And she says where you come from, mm -hmm. your ancestors. Mm -hmm. If you don't know where you're from, mm -hmm. you don't know where you're going. Exactly. So, period. Exactly. We're going to go learn today. Yes. And I definitely need it because ever since I've been to Africa, I've been having like nightmares and everyone oh, wow. everyone has been having like nightmares and dreams and i don't know if it has to do with like you know the I ancestors feel like, like, i feel like we're connecting. spiritual work yeah, yeah but, it's, it's, it's like a oh, connection like it's, right. it's, it's definitely spiritual it's yeah. definitely spiritual yeah so i don't know i feel like this is definitely going to heal us when we get to keep post so i'm just super excited that's for good experience. yeah so i can't wait for this well, awesome yeah well you guys will be along with us on the ride so Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go freshen up straight right here. So we'll see you in a little bit. Bye y'all. Here it is. Yes. Where are you guys headed to? Her outfit looks so nice. Are you, sir? So we're clearing literally they're on the way so that you can come in the middle. I'm so sad that my camera is just 
there's no charger for my camera, so I can't even use my camera to, to do anything. Alright, down here. Hi guys, so we are super late. Our driver came in for us super late, but it's okay because he sent us a police escort to get us fast, safe Period. and fast, and um, protected to Cape Coast. So we're on our way there. We're on our way. Yeah. I'm excited. It should be a great experience. Yeah. I'm excited to see what, like where we're coming from in order to get where we're at right now. Exactly. Yeah. Period. 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 Slaves, as I said from earlier today, the slaves came from Ghana to be shipped to Jamaica. So it's definitely going to be a good experience of us finding out exactly our true roots. These are the front seats in your yellow. Period. Okay. Are you excited for Cape Coast? I am. Um, thank you, my loves. Yes. Yeah, so a few moments later. Oh, not. Yo, that's what card rides do to you, though, for real. When you be gone. Just... <laughs> Mouth open and everything. <laughs> Knocked up. This is so beautiful. Focus today is going to be on the trans and party spectrum, and we are going to base much emphasis on the happenings within this castle as to the English involvement in the trade. This castle we are seeing was purposely built for slave trade. Along the coast of West Africa, Europeans coming here. Sorry, please. Sir. So, like I was saying, along the coast of West Africa, Europeans coming here built almost 60 40 castles. And among these 64 the castles, Ghana alone had 40, all because of gold. Mm. Gold happens to be the reason why most of these Europeans were coming here. That is why they named that region as the Gold Coast. The name Nigeria, Niger, Benin, as slave coast, because most of the slaves were gotten from the Delta River. So most of them in that area was named as the Slave River, as well as Ivory Coast, because they had a lot of Ivories from that area. So they were naming regions according to what they would get much. Europeans coming here came in as missionaries, and the focus coming here was the resources that we were having here in Africa. Whilst they were in here, brought a system that they were training with Africans, exchanging finished goods like gun, gun powder, mirror, sugar, tobacco, whiskey, and other things in exchange for the minerals we do have. I mean, the gold, the timber, the ivories, and other things. During this time, somewhere 1500s, you know, they had a quest to the West to get to India. Getting there, saw some native that thought they were the native fort Indians. That is why they named the Native Americans as the Red Indians. And that land stirred up some plantation, I mean the cotton, the tobacco, the coffee, the sugarcane plantation. And these people that were being used were dying in numbers. And they needed alternative labor. Alternatively, a Catholic priest known as Bartholomew de las Cascas suggested that because of the strength of Africans, we should shift our demands from using these natives to Africa. As well, our system could withstand tropical diseases like measles and others. And our system also could also withstand the European diseases as well. So instead of using the Native Americans, they then shifted their demand to this place. 
of which the same commodity they were bringing in exchange for our minerals then will be exchanged for humans. Humans then will be sent to the Caribbean, the Americas, within these places to have been exchanged for raw materials like sugarcane, cotton, coffee. These materials are being sent back to school to be transformed into finished goods, then back to Africa for the cycle to continue. That is the triangular trade, and it's called it the transatlantic slave trade. Let's get to know that it wasn't only Ghana that was affected, West African countries, as well as Central Africa. But then most of those that were picked from Central Africa, they had a street trade, of which you being picked straight from Congo, you moved straight to the Caribbean or the Americas. Most of them were sent to Brazil. That is why in the world after Nigeria, Brazil follows, having a majority of plus, because the US was a street trade. So imagine yourself West Africa itself will be picked for Mali. Distance will take you before you get to present day Ghana. Okay, barefoot. If you're not that strong, it means you die. Once you die, they leave you off. The strong ones will journey with them, of which they will pass through thick forest rivers before they get to their final destination. Once they get to the northern part of present day Ghana, they move them through different slave markets. The largest one at Salaga, Yendi, Tumu, Pikoro, before they march them to the center of Ghana, is Masi, then to the coastal areas. Getting to the coastal areas had their last rest at a place called Asenmantu. Asenmantu, there was a river that these enslaved Africans from probably status would have their last part as Africans. After doing that, they give them food to eat, allow them to rest for some time. We are right inside the most of the so now. Yes. The male what? Male slaves dungeons. And uh, I was going to join them down there. It's a little bit intense already. the mill slave dungeons having five compartments first one here second third to the fifth one and then within these five compartments average the thousand humans will be kept in until shipment shipment was done every two to three months as well so imagine if um, you are able to live here that early i'm saying that early because some was able to live here the day after i'm saying the day after because once the ship gets in and then they, brought, they bring you here the next day, probably needs to be to the ship. But unfortunately for you, when the ship leaves and then they bring you, means you have to wait for the next ship that will be available. We took them two to three months. And then this is where you are going to spend your two to three months. So you will eat here, you will sleep here, you will defecate in here, you will let in here. Due to that, some will get sick, so the sick one probably will vomit. So vomiting other stuff will be done in here until your ship comes to get you out of this place. Then due to the condition in here, we say that one third of the slaves will die before shipment. Oh. Then once you die too, your body is being thrown into the sea. And that ends your story. Oh. You know, we can see that this place is a bit different from where we came from. Recently, that in the year 1974, a student from the University of Ghana and the Hotel Department came in here to excavate this region. Excavating here, sample of what they got from this place shows that what we are seeing as well as what we are working on happens to be the waste materials of food that stay in here. That is decayed toilet, vomit, sweat, lab, food particles, urine, and other things that probably humans excrete or actually want to eject from their system. That is what we are seeing here. Wow. 200 million here will use these symbols as their source of light as well as their source of ventilation as well. Saying that at some point, fees raise almost to the need of slaves because the archaeologists need some markings on the wall. But these are white markings on the 
And the, and the market they made here, they are saying that the base of the market was the solidified waste that they got from this place. And as we all know, poop went fresh is a bit higher than when it solidifies. Estimated that the poop should have been at this level. And if I were to use my leg here right now, you can see that the market of the archaeologists, they should be the level of the poop. When he was a slave and he came to a here. But then he had to wash it and to stay in to your ship to get you from those things. Whilst these things were happening down here, right above our suggestion, Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ and the same that is the And um, it will surprise you that before they move into prayer, move out after prayers, they will see them, they will smell them, they will hear them cry as well. Because there was a very big hole that was right in front of the church that they witnessed everything before they move into prayer and move out as well. Once you get to the church, you get to see what I'm talking about. The hole. Which is right as the church chamber. So let's walk down if you have no questions. So that means that they didn't sleep there, they stood up. Sleeping in here was more or less like once you are in here, it's either you squat or lean on the brother or stand to sleep. They oh, had no beds because your floor itself is full of um, poop and all that. How do you even sleep on the floor? So they were, they were meant to start, and mostly they were being sent out in helping. Oh, yes, I did. Sorry, y'all, my is annoying. Let's continue. These were those they used to build the castle you are seeing. The Europeans brought the architectural design as well as being engineers, but then the labor itself were the slaves. And then no path for you once you're in the castle. Mm. Let's move down if you have no question. Thank you. Alright, so uh, before we walk in here, you know, some of the males actually fought for their rights in here. Because I would say that about 98% of those that were brought in here had done nothing wrong to be brought to the castle to be enslaved. So once they get the opportunity to come out to help in the garden of the castle, doing other hard ways, they try to escape from this place. Doing that, once you are being captured, it means that you have to be killed. Get yourself as a deterrent so that others wouldn't repeat such mistake or try to escape from this place as well. So what they do is, you being captured, you are being taken mercilessly out there before they push you into a chamber in there. This door we are seeing happens to be the only original door we have in the castle now. The castle itself is 358 years old. Wow. That is to tell you how old this door is. They had a cell here, but then it was for the European soldiers. So once your friends, your friend, you they keep you here. You get your air here, your food here. After a day, you move back to your normal duties. But an African, you move in there, of which they had similar doors as we are seeing here. Two extra in there. So once they seal these doors, it means no air, no food, no water for you. So it was all about suffocation and death. So I want us to have a feel of the place. Please, you watch your head whilst you're moving. You walk in there. Watch your head. Sorry. Guys, it is, I don't know what time it is in the morning, like 10.30. 
We are about to get ready to see for a photo shoot. Oh, I am so sorry. A traditional photo shoot. I cannot wait. I'm really busy. I have been doing photo My shoots after red. photo shoots after I'm photo shoots. Down. But I am super excited. Um, I am too. Today I'm well rested. So we're going to go knock this out. It shouldn't take that long. Yeah, Period. I pray. And then we're going to go ahead and get in glam. And shoot from... Later on today, I'm gonna take her out. It's her last day. Oh she no! Tomorrow, I'm gonna fly out on Saturday. Girl, so. you look like I'm not gonna see you in two weeks. You know, uh -huh. in, two, in two weeks, Period. in two and a half weeks, I move to LA. Yeah. So we're gonna do um, a moving vlog. I'm super excited. I'm gonna tear down her whole living room and reconstruct it. <laughs> yeah. so you can see that. Um, but yes, today we're gonna shoot. I'm gonna take her out for dinner. Her last supper for now, so I see her. Yeah! Looking good! Oh, yes! Velvet! Wait, you guys, get into this trail. Hold on. It's there he is. Mm -hmm. How gorgeous. Hi. I love it. Look at this. Go that is so all. nice. I can't pick it up. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Look how oh cool. my gosh. This trail is like, and it's still going. That is so me. Do that in the again? Extra. Do that Extra. <laughs> 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 Ready to go on this horse? Okay, so you guys, I see him on this horse, just riding it casually, and I'm like, no, we need this for the shoot right now. So we're literally about to pay him to get on the horse. Amanda is scared. That's your ride. Why? Yeah, it's just a horse. Yeah, no. scared of horses because <laughs> i had heard if you scream they take off thank you so much i'm good off that honey no amazing so good Period. What? What? <laughs> Not wrapping it up? <laughs> I can't. I can't. 
<laughs> Period. I would have did it again. Sure. Yes. I can't wait to see the results. Ah. Yes. Yo, I'm a sucker for pictures. I love pictures. I love taking them. Oh my gosh. Can you just picture the wedding photos? Uh, he needs to move. <laughs> He's walking. Period. Yes. Yes. Period. Yes. this video overall i really love how they went to where they came from and really like you know because they informed me with a few things like you know what i'm saying like with them going back with their culture and everything so i really love that because he most definitely like the tour guy really like informed me with a lot of things so yes y'all if you guys like the video make sure you guys give me a big fat thumbs up comment down below what you guys think y'all i'm excited to learn you guys' comments let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you guys subscribe okay big period and if you guys want to see more of amanda and shane and i'm pretty sure there's a reaction right here to you like it you won't regret it <laughs>